أعوذ بالله السميع العليم الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الملك العلى الحق المبين وبه نستعين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبات الراشدين المباركين وسلم تسليم كثيرا دائما أبدا Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, we are on the next session of the Arba'in collection, the 40 hadith collection, also known as the 40 hadith of Shah Waliullah, that goes through uh, Musas al Itra, through the lineage of the Blessed Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from Abu Muhammad al Hassan al Balkhi al Husseini, Ranu An going back through his ancestors to Hussein al-Asghar uh, through uh, Zainu al-Abidin through Hussein al-Sibt to Ali al Muntada, <coughs> and also uh, through <coughs> Hussein's uh, mother uh, Hussein who was also the son of Fatima Zahra the blessed daughter of Al-Habib Mustafa Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam tasim kathirun da'iman abada so we will begin uh, as previous sessions reading the uh, the hadith uh, with the uh, takhrij of um, the other um, people amongst the first generation who narrated this hadith both uh, lovely and ma'nawi um, as well as uh, give a brief explanation bi'ithai ta'ala qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hu alayhi wa alihi la yuhillu li mu'minin an yuhjura akhahu fawqa thalath that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said that it is not permissible for a believer to leave his brother for more than thalathan, uh, also thalathat ayam, thalathat ayam for three days is the meaning. Uh, this hadith besides Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam was also narrated through the uh, the Senate of, um, through Abu Huraira uh, from uh, the Sunan of Abu Daud rahimahullah ta'ala and also through Abdullah ibn Umar and the Sahih of Imam uh, Muslim. And also, uh, this has been narrated by Imam Bukhari, Imam Matimadi, and uh, Imam Ahmed through the riwayah of the great companion Sahabi Jalil, Abu Ayyub uh, Al Ansari, uh, the Sultan of Istanbul. And uh, besides uh, these uh, texts as well, uh, through uh, Imam al Nasa'i as well, Al Qada'i and Musnad al Shihab uh, by uh, Imam al Tabarani and Al Kabir and, and his book Al Awsat, and, uh, and by Abdul Razak al Sanani and his Musannaf and uh, Ibn Abi Shaiba uh, in his uh, work. Uh, Imam Malik ibn Anas al Humaydi at uh, 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 um, at least the narrations uh, from Ahlul Sunnati wa Jama'ah. So it's Sayyidina Ali, along with two other um, people from the first generations, companions who were prolific in narrating uh, hadith, and also in the book of the Shia, Ibn Abi Jamhur narrated this as well as Al Kulaini and Rasul Al Kafi uh, and um, Sheikh Al Tusi and his uh, Amali and Al Khisal uh, narrates uh, the same uh, hadith of Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam kathiran da'iman abada. Uh, so with that my brothers and sisters in Islam uh, that a is not permissible for a uh, believer, meaning also believing female, it's believing male, believing female to leave their brother or leave their sister 
any longer than three days. So this means to, uh, because there is some small disagreement or there's some dispute, that one makes hijra, <laughs> literally, uh, leaves their uh, their brother or leave their sister and does not afford them their hukuk or their rights as far as suhba, as far as companionship, uh, refusing to sit with them over a small disagreement or an argument, as well as if that person comes for nasiha, right, uh, that you, um, there, there can't be any more, uh, once three days goes, this should be what we can say uh, the cooling off period. And uh, of, the, of the noble things uh, within our tradition, and is the uh, the uh, the rights of brotherhood and the rights of sisterhood, and uh, this was a trait of the Ansar. Uh, may Allah be well pleased with them. You know, Beni Aus and Beni Khazraj. Um, they could not bring the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa uh, for uh, for Baya at Al Aqaba uh, until they were able to work out the disputes amongst themselves to even come together to agree. Uh, even though prior to Al-Aqaba, they had a, uh, they saw a, uh, and heard of the noble character of Al-Habib Mustafa Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yet they could not uh, come together. Uh, so that had to be reconciled. And it's also noble that when we see brothers and sisters in Islam uh, who have disputes, that we seek to reconcile these issues. And as in Surah Hujurat, Allah wa Taala mentions this in regards to reconciliation. The believers are but one brotherhood. So reconcile the disputes, uh, make peace between your brothers. And uh, the scholars of Tessius relates to Beni Aus and Beni Khazraj. Even in El Medina, there was a, a dispute between two brothers. Reconcile disputes and make peace between your brothers and have taqwa for Allah in order that you receive divine love and compassion. So uh, we try to take the lessons of this. May Allah wa ta'ala make us be the people of reconciliation. And if we have uh, small disagreements with our brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, that we uh, don't hold a perpetual grudge and that we uh, seek to uh, overlook and pardon uh, those small mistakes and those errors and those things, um, you know, that uh, are disagreements amongst uh, the believers, amongst ourselves. So, sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sallam, walhamdulillahi